Hey everyone, how you doing? On my left, I have a 2021 all new, all hybrid Toyota Sienna in the XSE grade, front wheel drive. Over here is my own beloved 2004 Toyota Sienna all wheel drive XLE limited, top of the line for the year. And we're gonna show you all the improvements that nearly two decades has made, but also I'm gonna show you how well this Sienna has held up over 17 years and still somewhat competes with this brand new one. First things first, we're starting off in the 2004 Toyota Sienna AC blow and cold. Here's the original window sticker and you can see 39,216, if you convert that in today's money, we're talking probably the mid 50s. Uh, so it's definitely top of the line for the year. So let's talk about the interior. Let's talk about the materials first of all. Soft touch on the door, soft touch all the way across on the dash. We have a little crack here. It's not, it's not mint condition by any means. Again, I don't know if you can see that, 168,759 miles. The materials in here, they've definitely stood, stood up to the test of time. I love that how we still have wood trim. Guys, wood trim on the steering wheel, even back in 2004. Pretty incredible. So another thing that is incredible about this vehicle are the storage capacities, okay? I have movies in there because there's a DVD player in here. Storage up there. We have storage here, big storage down there. I'll get to the cup holders in a little bit, so hold, hold the phone there. We have this removable storage piece here. This whole console can remove and you can have all this room to go in the back. But storage underneath there and storage here. I counted there's seven cup holders just up front here. Two, four. This would be five. And then on the, on the right hand door, on the left hand side of the door here, that counts as a cup holder. So you have seven cup holders just up front. Now when we talk about the features here, it's pretty crazy guys. We have a dynamic cruise control. It doesn't work as good as the new systems, like in that guy right there, but it works really, really well, all things considering for such an old, old vehicle. Up here, we have a cabin mirror that you'll see in the, the new one is totally small and completely unusable. We have garage door openers. I don't think they work very well anymore. At least they're, they're probably just too old. Uh, auto dimming mirror, large visors, and guess what? We have both lights still working after all these years. Uh, sunglasses holder off to the side here. Amazing. Uh, it's just kind of a unique and it's well padded. I don't know if the camera can see it. And then over here, I didn't find this out for a long time, is that <laughs> inside the leather cladded doors, we have a hidden storage space there on both sides. And there's this button here. It's very loud when you turn it on but that is the sonar for your parking sensors. So there are two in the front and I think four in the back. So it's a little bit more sophisticated in the back for the parking sensor. It's not as good as the new, the new car, which is gonna have several up front, I believe four parking sensors up front, but for 2004, not bad. Sunroof still works perfectly fine. I forgot to mention heated seats, not ventilated. That wasn't a thing back then, at least not on this vehicle. Sliding doors still work on both sides nice leather seats they've held up really really well all things considering over the years check this out this lever there's no slidey things over here there is a bar down here if you want to move the seat Ugh. forward and back it's not that easy to do because they're heavy well but look at that check that out look how easy it is to get into the back seat which is full of crackers that's you know kids but also these seats are completely removable and i did it when i was moving uh, all my stuff from Omaha uh, to the storage container and to the dump, etc. I was using this as a little truck because all the seats, and remember this thing can come out as well. And yeah, more cup holders down there, never used them because that's how I bought the car. It's really disgusting. But <laughs> map pocket here that holds baby blankets pretty well. And what I love about this, check out this lever on this front seat. So you can continue to find ways to make this car customizable, usable, and there's just so much stuff here. Now, one of my favorite things is I'm still old school. This has a DVD player, plays DVDs perfectly well. I don't have the remote, but we make do. And the new car, you have a bigger screen, but no DVD player. I couldn't believe it. I had to like let my kids down because I brought some DVDs on a trip and I'm like, oh yeah, no, there's no DVD player in it. So are you ready to drive in the new van? Uh -huh. Yeah, Reg? 
You on board? Yeah? Okay. All right, let's do this. In the back here, you could hook up like your own DVD player or game console if you want. And then you have no USBs, but look, you have a household plug-in. You could run an extension cord and run your own USBs if you wanted. Gonna open up the hatch. All these buttons still work. Super awesome. There it goes. And spare tire. You do not get a spare tire in the XLE, or sorry, the XSE Sienna 2021. They don't have, they have a fix a flat kit. It's heartbreaking. Uh, anyways, another plug-in. So another extension cord, you can plug more things in. 12 volt accessory, a light that still works after all these years. There's a JBL subwoofer in this vehicle. It's on the side and that vehicle, uh, that's where the fix a flat is. And then they put the subwoofer up here on the hatch. But yes, full spare tire back here, it fits. And then if I want, stow and go is not that hard. There we go, stow and go, push her down and see how flat that is. See, I love how flat that is. You'll see in the other one, it's not quite as flat. It's not quite as puzzle piece feeling. Now underneath the hood is the 3MZ FE. This thing has about 230 horsepower, 242 pound feet of torque mated to a five speed automatic transmission. Looks pretty good in here. Uh, they, I love the attention to detail on the engine cover, but what we're gonna do is essentially mix the Prius's powertrain, the hybrid powertrain, I don't know if you can see it inside the garage there, with the 3MZ setup, and that's what we're gonna have under here. And here is the hybrid powertrain underneath the hood of the XSE Sienna, 245 or so horsepower. Don't really know the pound-feet of torque. Toyota doesn't specify that. But just look at the detail of the engine cover compared to this, compared to this. Pretty crazy how they've, they've uh, kind of gone back in uh, the design underneath the hood. But you know, whatever, it, it, it works pretty well. <laughs> Guys, we have 20 inch wheels on the Sienna nowadays. Crazy, who would have thought? There's the hybrid logo, we're gonna get in the new Sienna and yes. I want to talk about what's behind the steering wheel real quick. We have a really small speedometer and the other van, it's huge and it's in the center and it's really easy to see what speed you're going all the time. Here, yes, you do have, uh, you know, your digital speedometer, it'll tell you. There it is, <laughs> I finally found it in the menus. You have a digital speedometer, but since it's a hybrid, I would rather have, have the more fuel efficient screens up like my miles per gallon and things like that so that's something i just have to get used to but yeah i'm just not a big fan of how small the speedometer is and yes in the limited and the platinum grades i believe you can get a seven inch mid over this four inch one which would be definitely nice you could definitely have probably a little bit more things up at once but anyways <laughs> let's move on i'm not going to gripe on that too much the only leather you'll find in this car is on the steering wheel. The rest of this is soft tech. And well, it, it's comfortable and it should be durable, but yeah, real leather in the 2004, of course. Quite a bit different setup here. There's a lot of storage down here, but not like the pass-through we had on the 04. There are quite a few cup holders up front, four here, and then you have two cup holders on here on each door. Again, for storage you have here, and then you have this weird, shelf and then you have a little mini shelf over here not sure what you would put there maybe some coins or something the door has multi multi stages here so you have shelf number one and then you know drink shelf number two and then hard touch in multiple spots around the vehicle this is soft touch this is hard touch in here as well of course but even this is hard touch so a little bit more hot, hard touch materials compared to the old sienna here is the window sticker so we're looking at forty six thousand. $535, I'll put what that is in comparison to that vehicle over there. Now, here are all the options. So if you wanna pause to check out the options, go ahead and do that. And this is the Ruby Flare Pearl with the Chateau interior, front wheel drive though, front wheel drive. You can get this, of course, an all wheel drive if you need it. Huge improvement in infotainment. Just the ability for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay is, is just so nice in a modern car. Uh, Bentley Naples comes up, guys. So maybe we'll go down to Bentley today. Heated seats, not ventilated seats, unless you get the Platinum. And you won't have a heated steering wheel unless you get the Platinum as well. Of course, you have radar cruise control. That's pretty much standard on all the Toyotas nowadays. So, so both Siennas have, you know, door openers on the remote. That's nice. There's a little indicator here that's where you need to kick looks like a wi-fi bar that's where you kick you got to have the key on you by the way otherwise it's not going to work now these seats while they don't remove or fold up like they do in the old sienna over there this thing 
slides all the way forward so you do have a good amount of space and it can slide super far back don't know if you can see those rails but it does go really really far back and far forward for massive amounts of legroom you can easily take a nap in this thing i probably should move this back up so my kid can fit in the back seat this is what the van is designed for is carrying massive amounts of people and this thing does have more space it's a little bit easier to work in than my 2004 so i do appreciate that you got to pass on this infotainment screen. There is no DVD player in it. I know DVD and physical media and Blu-rays are, are out. <laughs> they're not popular anymore, but just having that feature, you know exactly what your kids are watching and what they're doing. It's just a huge, huge feature. You can't get it in the new Sienna's. It's a big, big blow. So don't even spend your money here. Go get a Nintendo Switch. Go buy them nice iPads or Amazon Fires. Spend your money there because this is, yeah, it's worthless. Uh, HDMI to plug in your own PlayStation or, or Switch. It's just, it's too much work. Way too much work. No apps are built in. Uh, four zone climate control. We have three zone climate control in the old one. And yeah, I mean, let's just get in the, in the very back now. Now the kick sensor back here, I have not been as successful. So, <laughs> oh, there it goes, there it goes. One out, of, one out of four times. But I'm much better opening the side doors with the kick sensor. So in the back here, easy stow and go. They've really improved the stow and go system. It's a lot easier. You can just do it all with one hand. It's very light, very springy. The fitment doesn't seem to be as good as the 2004 with these seats folding down, especially this one. It's a little jankety when it's all the way fold down, but whatever. But this is the first year of this generation. So hopefully they can iron out the, the flushness of the stow and go seats. Uh, no spare tire like we saw in 2004. And then fix a flat tire kit is in there. Plus you have some added storage and then uh, plug in for your household things or whatever you want to plug in, maybe a grill. You see that over there? Those are more USBs, seven USBs in this vehicle. And yeah, we're just going to press this button and close it out. Man, the vans in 17 years haven't come that far. In terms of powertrains, that's probably the biggest thing, guys. Maybe Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, just some of the more techie things, but Really, when it comes down to features and comfortability and flexibility, the minivan has already kind of like a perfect formula. It's just Toyota, after time, they've been able to refine the, the, the idea of the minivan. And this is an almost perfect minivan. Wait for my full review as I will give you more impressions on it. There are actually some things I still prefer with this 2004, but overall, I wouldn't blink twice if someone wanted to give me one of these. 36 miles per gallon versus about 20. Yeah, I know which one I would pick. And guys, I'll leave it there. Cannot wait to see you in the next Sienna video. All my news updates as well. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe for more Japanese news, auto reviews, that sort of things. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.